about any situation where you've got like a choice or whether you're like starting something new and you want to know if you're going to be happy or you'll hate it or somewhere in between but yeah take your choice now there are three groups to choose from group one is the lover's card group two is the knight of pentacles and group three is the hanged man please pause the video now if you wish to take a moment to make your choice otherwise i'll see you in your reading the timestamps will be below you can also find details of my personal readings if you'd like one don't forget to hit the thumbs up button, leave me a comment, and let me know how it resonates with you. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and I'll see you in your reading. Group one, you don't have to worry, you're gonna love it! Yes! It's like perfect for you. It's destined, it's ideal. It feels like, especially if it's a relationship, like you might not be 100% sure. Maybe you're wondering if you can trust the feelings you're getting, you're wondering if it's the right time. You don't know what to do, you don't know how the other person feels. It feels good to just trust it because I'm seeing gonna have a great time with this person anyway and you love them and you will love them. And same if it's like a job, if it's a job you might feel like, ooh, I don't know if I should take this one or the other one. But once you start, it feels like there's some grand scheme reason why you take that job. And to be honest, even if you don't like the job, you might just meet the funniest colleague ever or you might make a really good network connection. Maybe you become your boss's favourite and they're like a really good reference for the rest of your life, like a really star one. So yeah, I feel like it's something special about whatever you're asking about. It's blessed, it's shining, it's beloved, it's like something beautiful and amazing and perfect, better than. And it feels really tempting, it feels too good not to notice, like really too good not to notice. Like I feel like how could you not know that you're gonna love it? How could you not know? Like is it not obvious? Do you love it already? I bet you love it already. You should love it already. It feels so amazing so I just feel like I don't need to tell you anything more. So you're gonna be happy. Yes. I hope you enjoyed the video group one. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Leave me a comment to let me know how it resonates for you. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Check out the other content on the channel if you're interested. And I hope to see you again soon. Reading is for you if you chose the Knight of Pentacles. If you chose the Knight of Pentacles, it seems like this situation requires some work. It maybe does need some effort put into it. It maybe is kind of boring, but it feels suitable for you. Like, I don't know if it's like a practical solution that you're asking about. Something really practical and sensible where it's not like a fun thing. I feel like love is a strong word and hate is completely irrelevant like you definitely won't hate it I'm not gonna say you're gonna love it and I also don't feel like you're necessarily gonna be like happy happy because it feels like routine and boring and just like normal and stable and suitable and not that very very exciting for you to feel like actually happy but I just feel like it's like routine as new as usual and it's kind of dull like it's gonna be a bit boring it's not really like the most special thing at least not right now like say if you were trying to choose a house to move into it might be that it doesn't look that exciting but when you put your possessions in it or if you just like paint it or do a bit of work like change up this and that or put in a new kitchen or bathroom or something it'll be lovely or if it's like a new job that you've got it might be really boring at first, but then you just get used to it and you find it really easy. It's not like it's a fun job, no. It's just a job, but it will be something that you can do day in, day out without really trying. Like, it just feels easy almost. Like, you just get used to it. At first, it might feel like a bit tiring and heavy. Heavy responsibility, but it feels good for you. It doesn't feel bad for you. And it feels like you're prepared to do it. Like, you're just kind of prepared and settled and set on doing it anyway so it's irrelevant and irregardless whether you feel happy or hate it because i feel like you kind of determined yourself to just do it anyway to get on with it anyway to progress with it anyway and i feel like it's kind of stable and secure and sturdy in the way that it's not a bad choice it's not a bad option like if you're trying to choose a partner it's maybe someone who's not fun this person in a way that's like someone you would like be able to brag about to your friends who only like parties or something but they're more like the sort of long-term stable partner who you'd actually end up staying with they're not a one-hit wonder they're not a one-night stand kind of person 
them or someone you just want to keep going with like you want to commit to them so I can't say you wouldn't be happy like I feel like you will be happy like if it's a job you'll end up staying there forever if it's a flat you'll end up staying there forever so it feels like you're more happy than hating it for sure and it's just kind of not the right wording for the question like the question is can you do it is it manageable is it practical is it easy is it sustainable for you and the answer is yes 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 and if it is like moving or a job it feels like the money's right like the price is right or the salary's right or yeah whatever it is i just feel like you can manage it and it's good for you and it's practical and it's stable and it's sensible and it feels like a good yes so i hope you enjoyed the reading thank you for watching please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button leave me a comment to let me know how it resonated for you subscribe if you're not already subscribed check out my other content if you're interested if you'd like a personal reading get in touch and i hope to see you again soon bye this is your reading if you chose the hanged man if you chose the hanged man it feels like this is going to be something you shouldn't convince yourself to like i kind of feel like you've been put in a situation where it's difficult and it's uncomfortable and I feel like you've kind of got the idea to just be happy where you are which I don't think is a bad idea like it's not bad for you to just think positively and be really positive I also feel like you're kind of just keeping yourself in a position where it's maybe uncomfortable and painful like this guy he's not really trapped he's not stuck in this tree he's just kind of picked a place to go and hang out and it's like if he finds it uncomfortable there he could easily move he could easily change his spot and i feel like you have got ideas about changing where you are but it feels maybe too hard right now or maybe it's just not the right moment it feels like you have to wait for something and i feel like if you did wait for something you'd be happier than if you just rushed so i would say try and be patient because i feel like there's something else better coming if you wait and i feel like you're aligned and you're guided and you have the right thoughts you're thinking the right way already like you're thinking hmm i don't know i mean i guess i'm trying to be positive about it but oh it's not that great but at the same time you might just have to wait for something else but i do feel like you can just like come down and just start running at things or looking at things if you want to or start chasing what you want more but if it's time to think then it's time to think i just feel like you may be thinking a lot and your thinking is making you happy but the actual situation is not making you happy like the situation's really bad and it feels like things are gonna get worse like by next i want to say by next spring things would be a lot worse if you just like stayed as you were and didn't change something so it feels like you shouldn't just go with whatever opportunity is coming it's like if you're in a relationship already and you're unhappy you shouldn't just like jump into the next whatever relationship and you also shouldn't just stay in the relationship unhappy it's more like you could maybe just plan to break up with your partner have some single time alone and wait to meet the right partner or just like stay with your partner until you meet the right partner and see if you just end up getting getting sick of them and being like oh i hate this i'm breaking up with you or whatever so yeah if you hate your job it's like stick it out but also if your mind is telling you enough like i should just really look for jobs after work and quit i should just quit i should just quit then you should listen to your mind and listen to your own thoughts because they're better than the sweet thing like at the end of the day it's about whether you're happy or not and i feel like you're already in a situation where it's like oh, like no i'm not happy but I'm not allowed to think that. Like, I just have to be positive. Like, I just need to stay here and be positive, even though it sucks. But it's a big wide world out there, and there are a lot of opportunities. And you don't have to just stay with the same thing. And I want to say you're too young and clever to just stay stuck and getting old somewhere where you're not happy or in something where you're not happy. So, yeah, I do feel like it's time to stretch your legs, maybe, and just, like, change things up. And don't pretend to yourself that you're happy. But also do stay in, if you need to evaluate whether or not you're actually happy, like for yourself, I think you should stay and evaluate it. But yeah, it feels like time to wait and find out a little bit, but also I don't think you should take something, like don't go with something if you know you're going to be unhappy with it. Like I kind of feel like this is something where if you, if you are like rushing into something and this is the card you've got, I do feel like it's not going to be that great. Like it's just kind of like a grin and bear it. And pretend you're happy even though your lip's trembling feel like crying or something and you're like no it's fine like no it's just water in my eye i'm not crying no it's fine it's fine like i'm not sad i ain't mad it feels like it's it's the kind of situation where you might know that you're going into it with a, a situational mindset of like well i'm not gonna get anything better so i might as well just shut up and put up with it but that's really negative and i do feel like especially with relationships and stuff you might just be like well i guess it's 
better than finding out if someone else is worse. Like, should I just stay anyway, even though it's horrible? Convince myself, he's not that bad. He's probably gonna change. Like, don't do that. You're not actually trapped. So yeah, do realize you're free to do what you want and you can do something that makes you happy. And there's no need to rush. Like, you do have time to think. And you're gonna feel yourself just like get up and do whatever you need to do in the times right anyway. So I don't need to give you this reading. Just trust your own thought, trust your own mind, trust your own intuition. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope to see you again soon. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Leave me a comment to let me know how it resonated for you. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and check out the other content on my channel if you're interested. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.